What is up everybody? Welcome into this new video of TechPress. My name is Steven. I'm going to be showing you how to get started with the animation stuff into Canva. So Canva is an amazing place to create your videos uh, totally for free. So in order to get started, the very first thing you want to do is to have an account into Canva.com. Really, really easy. You can sign in using your Microsoft account, using your Gmail account, or but using Facebook or an actual email account. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to be focusing into creating a design inside the editor. So I'm going to go and open a new tab. It says create a design. And let's focus into the one that says video. This is really important. So you're going to be uh, uploading. You're going to be using a few tools that is only available for adding video and then editing tools. Uh, tools to edit your actual animations, all your elements, all your images and all stuff. So you want to choose video. So then it's going to be popping up this new section. We have the untitled design and down in here, as you can see, we have the timeline that we're going to be using in the whole entire video. So um, speaking about animations, there's actually a couple of things you wanted to do in order to get started. So let's say if I would go into elements and here I want to focus into a new character. So uh, as you can see, I have some photos, I have a video, I have some audio, and I have graphics. If you focus into graphics, you're going to be seeing that there's actually a lot, but really, really a lot of elements that we can use totally for free. So uh, let's say that I want to use something really, really easy in order to get started. So let's say that I wanted to use something like this, for example, but as you can see, these are just images that I can use uh, to make like really, really uh, easy animations. For example, I can make like this movement like this from one place into another one, and then I can add an actual text. So well, I'm going to get it now into text. I can go and choose, for example, this one. And let's go for welcome to TechPress, like this. So then later on, what I want to do is to change the actual font. I'm going to change this for uh, the Code Pro and hit into effects and go into the hollow. And there we go. So um, what I want to do now that I have a few elements here, let's say that I want to add here, let's like this. And this is how we have our element. So if I want to make an animation, I want to select my element. Let's go for animate. And here, let's say that I wanted to make this movement like this, where I can choose the breathe, I can choose drift, I choose the baseline, I have to choose the tectonic, I have the boost, the block, uh, choose whatever option you wanted to. Um, then later on, let's say that I want to choose something like really, really easy. Let's say, for example, this one, or I can choose only merged. And this lady here, once again, the animation is going to be a little bit different because this is a an, an, uh, photo animation. So I want to choose this drift, for example, I want to change the direction like this. And I want to make this a little bit more the movement like this. So if I add some new text, let's say that I want to go for, I'm going to delete all of this. So let's go for step number one, right? So um, I want to change the actual color. And I'm going to change something like bluer. And if I focus into the actual transition here, I want to change this for the flow. And we have the animation of our actual presentation. Speaking about animation of your actual characters, I can totally suggest you to move along using Canva and using Animaker. Animaker is a great place to get started if you don't know absolutely anything about creating animations and you can start totally for free. So uh, here into Animaker, what I wanted to do is to go and hit into create. Actually, I have created something uh, like this. I have just created this guy and I have the same elements. Welcome to Express. Let's start to make our first video. So what I want to do now is to make the actual appearance here, the same that I just did before, like for example, drift, Here's another drift, and here is another drift. So I'm going to change only the, the directions. This guy I'm going to change for down here, and there we go. So um, with that being said, I can make the transition flow once again. And here I have the same thing, the same element, which that would be step number one, right? So if I hit into play, this is how it's going to be looking my actual animation. So uh, this is the reason why I used Animaker to use this actual guy uh, totally for free. So speaking about the free version, you're going to be having just a few elements, uh, let's say the watermark, but then later on you can delete that into, into the actual Canva. 
So go here into Animaker. I'm going to go and let's go for create a new project. I'm going to go into a squat video because I just want to use one element to then later on import that into Canva. So choose start with blank. And once we are in here, as you can see, we have the timeline. Here is our preview of our video and the left part is our characters. So what I want to do is to look out for an element that I want to use. So I'm going to choose character and this, uh, let's go for casual. Let's go for view all. And what I want to do is to use a new character, for example, this one. Do, of course, is just to make sure that I don't want to have anything uh, right at the part where it says made with Animaker because the only way to delete this one is to re drag and drop into Canva because uh, we need to pay, of course, here the free version uh, to the actual starter version of the Animaker. So we don't want to focus on that. Let's say that I want to have this element like this. If this is the goal for my character, then I'm going to make this a little bit more up. So I'm going to delete this part. So now here we have the actual action and we have the expressions here. So for example, I can change the happiness from star or sad or smiling or confused. I have this option. So let's say that I want to use confused. I go back and I have now the action of my character. So what I want to do now is to choose an action that I can use for my videos. I want to use something like really easy. For example, I'm focusing into this one only. I hit into play and this is the actual movement of my character. If I think this one is going to be really useful, then what I want to do is to make this a little bit more uh, seven seconds only. And then what I want to do is to hit into publish. I'm going to download out this video and then later on, I'm going to import this into Canva. So now we have our actual video downloaded. If I go back here and I import my element, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go and scroll like this. You're going to be seeing that we have the actual watermark. So I'm going to open this one. I'm going to actually move this into another page because I want to put that here into the step number two. And this is the part what I told you guys that we just need to read rack like this. So I, of course, don't want to have the watermark. So I just focus there and hit into play. And there we go. So our element is now imported automatically. And of course, I want to make the speed go a little bit more faster. And there we go. Now here, I want to do exactly the same thing. But this one appears right away. So I can go into the very first part of my video, hit into play and take a look into how the stuff are being now created right away. So this is why I wanted to just make sure that I have all the elements uh, dragged uh, right away. So now that we have all the elements now being created, the last thing you just want to do is to, if you want to add some videos and audio, you can go directly into elements. I can go here into search elements. Let's say that I want to add some chill music. So I go into chill, I hit into the audio section and here I have some chill classical music. So I can choose chill factor, for example, here. I go into play. And if I like this music, I just drag and drop like this. And there we go. So the process is actually really, really simple. Even we can uh, record our own actual voice. I can go directly into applications and I can add some audio stuff if I wanted to, or I can add more stuff later on into my own video. With that being said, guys, I think we have now covered the basics to get started with an actual video and animations here totally for free. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more amazing tools, how you can get started here into Canva and to make really, really awesome uh, animations totally for free. So thank you for watching the video, guys. See you next time.